for Crema Media in Johannesburg, I'm Darren Parker. Today I'm speaking with NitroLife MD Tom Sowry about the company's new nitrogen booster product offering, as well as how NitroLife has fared through the COVID-19 pandemic. Tom, please could you tell me more about the nitrogen booster product that you've brought into the country and that you manufacture locally and how it can benefit the South African steel industry? Well, we developed the, the booster, the NitroCut booster on the back of our NitroCut nitrogen generator, um, which produces on-site nitrogen for a laser cutter. So to, to understand the booster, I suppose we'd have to go back to the, the, the point of the NitroCut, which is to produce nitrogen gas on demand for an, an industrial fabricator using a laser cutter. And the NitroCut was very successful in the market, or is very successful in the market, except for its one limitation, which was pressure, and that we could only produce nitrogen up to a maximum pressure of 14 bar, which limited the cutting um, typically to up to four and a half, six millimeter in stainless or mild steel aluminium. And what the, the booster has done is it's actually a pneumatic booster, pressure booster, that bolts onto the nitro cut and boosts that pressure all the way up to 19 bar, which essentially removes that limitation. How has Nitro Life fared throughout the COVID-19 crisis? And what has the company done strategically to remain competitive? Well, well, we so we have fared surprisingly or um, pretty well, to be dead honest. Uh, We've been lucky, we, we're well diversified throughout a number of industries. So we supply a lot of nitrogen systems into the open cast industry, um, which continued through level five. Um, we, we closed the, the business in level five in line with government's request, but uh, opened in the 1st of May and we've been trading well. And uh, I think the nitro cut and the NitroCut booster lends itself very well to, to probably a market a little bit under strain where people are looking for any, any saving they can get. And traditionally where a company would be buying gas, um, the opportunity to make it themselves at a significantly reduced price is, I think is really quite attractive. So um, really since I think 1st of May, we've been full steam ahead, yeah. How does Nitro Life view the way forward for the rest of 2020 and beyond, perhaps? And how has this changed from what the company originally expected and strategized for prior to the pandemic hitting? Yeah, well, um, what, we've, what we've seen in the market, thankfully, is that uh, um, companies are still fabricating and cutting steel. Um, and so I'm, I'm sure there's parts of the industry that really is suffering. But um, for us, for the rest of the year, we would like to continue. And I think... Look, the NitroCut is, is a truly unique product, I'd say, globally. Um, something that we developed for three and a half, four years ago and is quite significant in the market. I think we have over 80 systems running in laser cutting right now. So going forward, I think I'd like to keep up the momentum, but obviously understanding the, the, the um, problems in the market. I think uh, it's nice to see... A lot of our customers uh, working hard and going. Um, I think going forward, um, obviously understanding the the problems and the the, the supply chain issues uh, to just build on that. Um, the nitro cut booster should open up the market further for us, and we can supply that sort of retroactively back into our existing customers. Um, that, when allowable, allows to. Take the, we'll continue our projects that we started uh, before lockdown overseas in Europe and in the East. Uh, I think South Africa is a main focus. We're a South African company, but the potential of both the NitroCut and the Booster um, in Europe and in the East and in the States for that matter is, is very strong. So I'd like to pursue that. That was Nitro Life MD Tom Sowry speaking to Crema Media about the company's new nitrogen booster product offering as well as how Nitro Life has fared through the COVID-19 pandemic.